guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share my top tips on how I get every dog to love their picture taken. <laughs> okay, that might be a little bit dramatic. Obviously there are some dogs out there that hate getting their picture taken, but I have a lot of tips and tricks up my sleeve that makes it so much easier when you're trying to take pictures of your dogs. Because if I'm being honest with you guys, I've probably photographed about 200 dogs at this point, maybe more. And there has not been a single dog that I have not been able to get photos of. Difficult dogs? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> a lot of patience involved, but we make it work. Before we dive in deep into that, Sue has a favor to ask you guys. Can you please hit the subscribe button so my mom can buy me more treats? We're back. I've got my coffee. I've got my assistant, baby Sue. I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how I get every dog that I photograph to love getting their picture taken. These are all things that you can do at home. They're simple, easy steps to start training your dog how to like your camera. Because that's essentially what it is. Your camera makes a really funny noise. It's big, it's clunky. You hold it up to your face. Your dog can't see your face. It's all these emotions running through them that just makes them hate it and run in the other direction. Right, girl? Yeah. So, step number one. Put camera on the ground in front of your dog. Some dogs may be kind of confused about this. They might sniff around it at first. Susan obviously loves getting her picture taken and she just cannot wait for me to give her some of her zooks, which by the way, best treats ever. Two cow per treat, they are the best. And no, this isn't an ad, I just love them. Take a yes, add the book. Yes, good girl. Catch, yes. Oh. <laughs> her treat just went right into my coffee cup. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, we're done with the coffee. All right, well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Holy man. Anyways, put the camera down on the ground. Let them sniff it out. Let them kind of make their own opinion of it. Without doing anything else, just take a couple treats, sprinkle it around the camera. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. And make sure you are praising every single time they get close to the, tr the camera. If they're sniffing it, if they grab a treat, make sure you're praising. Whatever it is, yes, good girl, good boy, or just a simple yes and an upbeat, yes, hooray, kind of voice. Okay? Right. Next step is to do this first step over again, but adding in that shutter button because as you guys know, the shutter makes a kind of a funny noise. So what I do is I have some treats in my hand or on the ground, whatever the dog is comfortable with. If they haven't eaten any treats from my hand, I'll just put them around the camera. If it's a dog that's already comfortable with me and it's just the camera that they're kind of nervous about, then I'll keep them in my hand, hit the shutter. Yes, good girl. And treat immediately with a praise. That is the most important part is that you are treating right when the shutter goes off. So they now associate the treat and the praise with the shutter sound and they start to like it. That's how dogs work. Simple training methods. That's all we're doing here. So, yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. She's getting comfortable with it. What I'm going to do next is just pick the camera up. If it's a dog that I don't know, I just put it on my knee or in my lap and then I just do the same thing. Click the shutter. Yes, good girl. And repeat over and over again. And if I'm in studio, I just incorporate the lights into that as well. So like I said, I would click the shutter treat and then I would do that a couple times until I could tell that they are calm and not anxious at all with the situation. And then I would turn my lights on, click the shutter, lights would go off and treat. Still not trying to take any pictures of them, just continuously doing that until they don't notice the light or I know that they are comfortable with it. And then I would go on to the step of bringing the camera up, trying to take their picture with them. Now the dogs know that you are the treat lady. <laughs> treat equals they love you. Dogs are simple. That's why I love them so much. What I'm going to do next is just kind of up the ante a little bit. So I'm going to start bringing the camera in front of the dog's face, clicking the shutter again. Yes, good girl. <laughs> and continue on with that. 
bring it up closer to my eye. Yes, good girl. Obviously, Susan's very comfortable because she gets her picture taken all the time and she'll do anything for a treat. She's a treat slut. So pretty much if you've gotten the dog to the point where you can bring the camera up to your face and take a picture without them getting afraid, you're on the right track. You're pretty much there. But you just wanna make sure that they're also going to sit and stay for you and maybe hold it for a couple seconds would be great. Make sure that they know your treats in the hand. No, sit, sit. Bring it above the camera so that their eyes will be right on your focal point. Yes, and that's pretty much it. If you continue those steps over and over again, bit by bit every day, then your dog will start to associate your camera with treats and they will just wanna have their picture taken all the time. Instead of running away from the camera, they'll start running to it. <laughs> if you do not have a tree motivated dog, I'm so sorry for you. That is the most frustrating thing to deal with very hard to train in my opinion. Maybe that's just because I have an extremely treat motivated dog, but there's still a way. You Gotta be a better way. <laughs> and there is Kevin. You can use toys or whistles, sounds on your phone, like I've suggested in other videos before, but you just have to be sneaky with it because if they don't know like a leave a command or a sit and stay while you're holding the toy, then they can come jumping right at your face, which is how I got punched by a Rottweiler a couple weeks ago. Boom, full palm, right down the face. It was not good, but he was still cute and I was fine, I'm totally joking. But be careful, is the moral of the story, because once you have the toy, they're gonna wanna play, and then the photo shoot's gonna be very hard to continue. So what you're going to do is show them the toy. Yes, leave it, wait, click, 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 click. Yes, good girl. That's it. Dogs have a very short attention span. If you're a dog mom, you know this already. But it's the same thing. If you're rewarding with a play session or a favorite toy, a ball, your dog will associate the camera with that positive reinforcement. Again, same as the treat. It just makes your job a little bit harder. I am by no means a dog trainer. <laughs> I will never say that but I do work with dogs. I spend a lot of time researching dog behavior and training techniques because I am a very dedicated dog mama. I love my dog a lot. I love what I do. Dogs are very fascinating to me and whatever I'm doing, it's working. I've not met a dog up to this date that I was unable to photograph. Like I said, difficult for sure. I cannot stress that enough. Because I'm telling you these techniques, it doesn't mean that I don't still struggle with some of my clients. And it doesn't mean that you aren't going to go home and struggle with your dog some days, but it's all about patience. Doing anything with dogs takes a ton of patience. That's just the fact of the matter, but it's worth it in the end. Whether you, know, you end up with pictures of your dogs that you can cherish forever, or whether you hire a photographer and you get them done professionally and it's just a very fun and relaxing photo shoot that you've done with your pet. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button as well as subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon as well. That way you'll get a notification for when my next video is up on Thursday. Comment down below. I would love to know your thoughts on this video. If you've tried the techniques at home, how they worked out for you. Let me know. Guys, I am out of here because my dog wants to play with her bob a lot and she's been disrupting this entire end of my video. Dog mom life, am I right or what? Anyways, until next week, guys. Peace. Motivated dog.